Hi there, I'm Chris the Food Guy and today I'm going to be making pimento cheese spread. It's a very quick and simple idea. Uh, it's excellent with some crackers as a sandwich. Hell, with a spoon. That's a big spoon. So uh, let's go and let's check the ingredients out. Okay, our pimento cheese spread uh, consists of the following ingredients. We have two cups of shredded cheddar right here. Um, I'm using uh, medium cheddar. Uh, you could use sharp. In fact, that's usually what they call for is sharp cheddar, but I like medium and that's kind of what I had in my refrigerator today. So that's what I'm going with. Um, you could do half medium, half sharp, uh, half extra sharp, half sharp, uh, half Monterey Jack, half sharp, combinations, whatever works for you, whatever you like. Uh, but it must be freshly grated. Uh, do not use this stuff in the bag, please. It just is not as good as the freshly grated stuff. I mean, hell, it's fun. You can even have your kids do it. Dad, this isn't fun. I want my money back. Keep shredding, kid. Oh, man. We also have a quarter cup of mayonnaise. We have four ounces of cream cheese, which is half of the you know, block of cream cheese you get at the grocery store. Uh, we have three tablespoons of pimentos. We have eighth of a teaspoon of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Yes, freshly ground. Uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Uh, you don't want to go much more on the garlic powder. It, if you do, it'll overwhelm it and you'll just have a garlicky cheese pimento spread, which I, I guess maybe some people like. Uh, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of jalapeno powder. You remember this stuff. So we have everything ready uh, to go over to the uh, stand mixer and uh, we'll meet you over there. Okay, in the bowl of your stand mixer with your paddle attachment uh, on, you're going to uh, start by putting the cream cheese in. And, and if you, if you don't have a stand mixer, you could use a food processor if you have it. Uh, if you don't have that, use hand mixer. Works just as well. But I have a stand mixer today, that's what we're going with. So, put in and you're going to uh, beat it till it's smooth. So beat it on about medium. So it's nice and smooth. And I should mention that the cream cheese needs to be at room temperature for this to work really good. So give it about eh, 20 seconds maybe. And then you're going to shut it off, raise it, and then add everything else. The two cups of cheese that does not want to come out of the bowl apparently. So I'll have to convince it a little bit. There we go. Two cups of cheese. Let's add our pimentos. Hopefully you saw that on camera. Add our quarter cup of mayonnaise. Put it in there. Nobody sees me doing that. Shh. Don't tell anyone. And last, Salt, pepper, garlic powder, jalapeno powder into the bowl. Drop it back down, lock it in place, uh, medium speed until everything's combined. Sometimes you get a little glob of mayonnaise that doesn't want to incorporate, so. Look at that. That's how easy it is. Pimento cheese spread. So, how does it taste? Well, let's find out. Oh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Use another cracker to put it on there. Yeah, that's what I do. My hands are clean and I may be the only one eating this. Though I doubt it. Very good, very good. Uh, 
Probably even better if it was uh, if I used sharp cheese, but as I tend to like the mild, the meat, you know, the medium cheese. So very good. Just enough garlic, just enough pepper, just enough jalapeno powder. Very good. I strongly recommend this. Like I said, on a cracker, on a sandwich, with a spoon. Uh huh. See. works just as well. And it's low carb. That's the best part. Stick with this. Let's wrap this video up. I'm Chris the Food Guy. If you like this video, don't forget to uh, click like, share, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media, you can do so at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Mm, yeah, let me tell you something. I'm trying to make some cheese, yeah. You know what I'm using it for? I'm going to use it for a nice recipe, yeah. But let me tell you something. This isn't fun, Dad. I want my money back right now. Yeah. Did you forget your line again?